The Chinese ambassador Zhang Limin and acting minister of foreign affairs Robson Ben switched on the station. The facilities have been built in the compound of State TV National Communications Network. The transmitter for the channel is hooked up to the NCN transmitter. China's central television was granted its broadcast license through a government arrangement, but the government has been telling the tongue of Linden that it cannot get a license through a government arrangement, but would have to apply through the National Frequency Management Unit, the NFMU. There is no definitive date as to when the promise was made to the Chinese to have the station set up here. This project has been ongoing for many years, and I'm glad to uh, know that this project uh, has been completed uh, today. The acting chief executive officer of NCN, Michael Gordon, explained that the technical process began on September 23rd with the arrival of Chinese engineers in the country. NCN facilitated the process and at any one time there were up to 10 technical personnel from China in Guyana. Both Minister Ben and the Chinese ambassador hailed the setting up of the station as a sign of the friendly relations between Guyana and China. We have had the opportunity many times to highlight the importance of our relations with China. These relations have always been based on friendly cooperation and mutual respect. The advanced program of economic and technical cooperation has allowed for an expansion and intensification of the relations between China and Guyana. Today's ceremony is another tangible demonstration of China's sincere commitment to Guyana and to its people. The Chinese ambassador said that CCTV broadcasts would help Guyana to understand Chinese culture and history. Executive member of the opposition coalition APNU, Lance Carberry, had called for the government to clarify the arrangements under which CCTV is licensed to broadcast from this country. The government has said that the agreement took over 10 years to be consolidated and government was pleased with its conclusion and turning on the switch to put CCTV on the air this year.